What's up, everyone, and happy, happy new year to everyone. Happy January 1st of 2024. Listen, y'all, we made it. We made it to see another year, and I am so excited and so ready for what it is that God is going to do this year. Listen, I know that God is getting ready to do some big things in 2024 because 2023 was definitely a setup for 2024 for me so i'm just so excited so much so that god sent me with this word today to give you and the title of this video is going to be from the soil to the surface isn't that such a great word to start off the new year with Knowing that you have been in the soil for so long, but now is the season that you have finally reached the surface and you're about to grow and thrive into all the things that God has created for you to. The time in the soil was the time for God to nourish you, for God to grow you. We have been planted in God, doing all the necessary work, receiving all the things that God needed us to receive while we were in the soil. See, in the soil is necessary because it is us being planted. And things that are planted are things that grow, not buried, but planted, planted in God. And before I really get into this word, this word I, want to get, I want to give scripture. And the scripture that I want to give is in Psalms 92 verses 12 through 13, which says that the righteous will grow like a palm tree. They will, no, excuse me. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like the cedar of Lebanon planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. Listen. Let's just speak about palm trees. I want to kind of break this scripture down right quick. Palm trees symbolizes success, triumph, and victory. See, because Jesus was granted with greeted, excuse me, with palm branches as he entered into Jerusalem. And when it comes to the cedar of Lebanon, cedar Wood was the best quality wood that was used in the Bible. It was known for its quality and its durability. And in the scripture, when it's speaking of the flourishing and the growing because of where it is planted, being planted in the house of God, that's what it looks like when we are planted in God and we, were, and we are actually spending the time in the soil instead of feeling like we are so ready to break you know break the surface and be and be seen by everybody right god is saying there's a process that we have to go through when plants and, and flowers and, and trees are planted it's a process before they start growing and flourishing into the beautiful things that they become once they really start blossoming thank you holy spirit you are now about to blossom and everything that you are meant to be because you have spent time in the soil. And another thing that hit me in my spirit was the reference of the bamboo tree. See, because a bamboo tree spends five years, five years growing under the soil, under the surface. It takes a bamboo tree five years to grow underneath but baby, as soon as that bamboo tree breaks the surface, it only takes five weeks for it to grow 90 feet. And in that, God is saying, I know it may have taken a long, 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 long time in the soil. I know you were frustrated. I know you were hurt. I know you felt like the time would never come. But God says, listen, the time that it took for you to grow, for me to do my work in you, the work that was necessary before you broke the surface, God is saying it's going to take a short amount of time 
for the world to see everything, how beautiful you are. Just the overall, the growth, the durability, the strength, the success, the victory, everything God is saying is they are going to see in a short amount of time. Because now it is your harvest season. Now you're going to reap everything that you endure, everything that you sold while you were even in the soil. Because a lot of times we have to also do work while we were in the soil. You were still sowing seeds while you were in the soil yourself. While you were hurting, you were still pouring into other people. Even though you didn't have money, you were still giving. Whatever you didn't have for yourself, you still chose to give to other people. And God says, I seen that. And that is why I'm going to do in a short amount of time what it took the underground work long time to do. Listen, it is time for all of us to grow, to thrive, to flourish into the beautiful people that God has created us to be. Listen, that time spent was also God building up your quality. There is going to be something so unique, something so rare, something so beautiful about you. Because you, you, you took the time, you spent the time, and you let God in, and you let him plant you. You let him water you. You let him nourish you so that you can flourish so that you can have that success you've been praying for so that you can have the victory against everything that comes your way that is what the soil was for the soil was for when you hit that surface for you to reap all the blessings of god all your answer prayers all the promises of god so, baby, listen, on this beautiful, great, and happy first day of 2024, I'm telling you that. God is telling you that. You're going from the soil, but now you're about to break forth on the surface. And people are about to see every single thing that God placed in you come out and it's about to come out in such a way that you are going to change lives you are going to make a huge impact you are going to see what you're going to attract because people are going to see that whatever is in you that they want to grab a hold of that their, themselves. You are going to be the inspiration, the answer, the key to so many people's problems. Just the rooms that God is going to place you in. The opportunities that you are about to have. The doors that are about to be open to you. is going to be because of the work that you did. And that you allow God to do while you were in the soil. So get ready because you are now about to break the surface. And again, it may have seemed like a long time in that soil. But baby, what God is about to do now once you break that surface is going to happen so fast. That it's going to make that time spent in the soil worth it. You hear me? The time spent, the energy, the blood, the sweat, the tears, the pain, the betrayal, the losses, every single thing that you went through in the soil is going to be worth it. Get that in your spirit that it is all going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. On this beautiful, again, first day of January 2024, 
I pray that this message has helped, inspire, touch, bless anyone who it has reached. And as always, let's be motivated, but most importantly, let's stay inspired by the word of God.